All right. So now that we understand that the eyeball is a 3D sphere and not just a flat circle, we can begin to start learning how to draw spheres. That's going to be an important part of being able to make our eyeballs look like they're 3D and not just flat planes. So to start out, we have these six circles. You can totally draw your own circles, do whatever you want, or you can use the worksheet, whatever works best for you. So the first thing we need to do when we are drawing these spheres is to talk about a concept called drawing through. Now I'm drawing on a layer separate from my spheres and drawing through means that we're going to be imagining these spheres as 3D objects that we can see through. They're transparent. And we're going to be drawing a ring around the sphere and we're trying to imagine if we could see that ring wrap around the sphere on the other side. So, for example, start with this one here. If I'm drawing the ring across like this, we would be able to see the ring go around the other side. And if I draw another ring perpendicular to that one, it'd be the same thing. So you can imagine here this is a center point, this is the center point on the back, and if there's a line connecting these, it would go right through the middle of the sphere. Okay? Now, once you've done that, if you just erase away the lines in the back that you wouldn't be able to see, then you're left with what just looks like a 3D solid object sphere. And we can see that this is the center point and that these lines wrap around it. Okay? So, you're going to do the same thing for all six of these. So, we'll do another one. Um, and just to show you, this is what uh, this is what it would look like if it was looking straight on. So if that was still a little bit confusing, imagine if this sphere was facing you directly, we would just have two lines that look like this. Two straight lines. Right? But from that perspective, we can't tell that's a sphere. It still just looks like a circle. So we're imagining that we're going to take that and tilt it in a different direction so that we'll be able to see those lines. Okay? So let's do another one. Uh, let's imagine that this one is really close to the edge. It's really looking one direction. And I'm also going to not draw through on this one so you can see what it looks like when you don't do that. Because once you start getting good at this and you get a hang for it and you can visualize it in 3D space, imagine a ball in your head, like a basketball or a soccer ball or something. If you can imagine that ball in your head with these two lines wrapped around it and you can rotate that in your mind and be able to visualize that and draw that, then you're not going to need to draw through as much. You can still draw through, it's a really helpful tool, but um, learning to visualize 3D objects in your mind is going to be really helpful, not just for this, but just for drawing and painting in general. So we'll go ahead and finish up the rest of these. Um, let's do one that is looking basically straight ahead but down. So the middle line then would be a straight line, right? Because if this was a circle like this, the ring, that's what it, the ring would look like if we were looking at it directly from the front or above. But if we turn this on its side, it would start to look like this. And if we turned it completely on its side, it would just look like this because we couldn't see it, right? So that's what this line is representing. And then we'll have another one down here. And if you need to draw the line a couple times and make sure you get it right, that's totally fine. This isn't the type of thing where you want to rush through it um, until you really get a steady hand for it. Okay, let's do two more. Um, this one I'm going to imagine is looking um, up and to my right. So we'll put that line in here. This one I'll draw through again so you can see how I do that. Okay, and then up here. And then I can erase away these lines. The way that you know how big to make the oval shapes or the circle shapes is to imagine it like this. Okay, um, if I have a circle here, and I kind of just barely explained this, but I'm going to go into a little bit more depth. If I have a circle, 
and it's a flat plane, the more that circle turns away from me, the more it's going to turn into an ellipse shape. Okay? And it will keep doing that until you pretty much can't even see it anymore. And you just have a line. Okay? So does that make sense? It's, it's curving around. And that's what you're trying to picture when you're drawing the sphere. The more the sphere is turned in one direction, the smaller the oval shape you'll be making in the middle of it is. But the more that it's turned, the bigger the oval shape will be. Okay, so if it, the eyeball is looking way to the left or way to the right, you're going to have a really big oval in the middle. If it's looking fairly close to the middle, it'll have a really small oval. And if it's looking somewhere between, it'll be about medium size. Okay, so I'll do the last one here. And we've done some pretty extreme ones. Let's do one that's just barely looking uh, to the bottom right, just a little bit. We're going to imagine that there's barely any sort of a tilt. Okay. And then it'll, it's looking to the bottom, right? So we want to tilt it down just a little bit. and then erase away the lines we don't need. Now, if you're having a hard time figuring out how curved the line should be or how stiff, just go get a dinner plate and, well there's a couple of things you could do. You could either get a dinner plate and hold it up to your eye and look at it from different angles because you want the, when it gets closer to the edge of the circle, the line's gonna get really sharp. But as it reaches the middle part, it gets really smooth. And the smaller and narrower the oval gets, the sharper the edges are going to become, but they're always still going to be a curve. So if you're having a hard time visualizing this, you can get a dinner plate or some other flat circle, circular shape and just look at it from an angle, hold it like this and slowly turn it. You can take pictures of it if you need to and trace out that shape and you'll see what I'm talking about. You can also take a ball, maybe you have like a, one of those stress balls or something or a golf ball, take a Sharpie and draw a circle around it if you can get it even and you'll notice that as you turn it the shape and the curve of the line will change if you're staring at it straight on it will appear like a straight line but if it's all the way to the edge it will appear like a curve so um, now that we've learned this and after you've practiced these spheres the next lecture we're gonna start adding the iris and adding that 3d bubble shape on top of it so I'll see you guys in the next one